Hello everyone, today I will show you how to install manually DLC files for games on your jailbroken Nintendo Switch. But before we start, this video is clearly information and educational purposes only, and I'm not encouraging any piracy or any illegal acts like jailbreaking your Nintendo Switch. And that being said, let's begin. So alright guys, so let's start by checking one of our games here in our Nintendo Switch. And I was thinking of putting a DLC on a certain game here in my Switch. And this is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So let's check the game out. And as you can see, guys, that in this game has a lot of characters here, but this one has a darkened character, meaning it hasn't been installed in the game yet. So what we're going to do is that we can put a DLC for it to be unlocked, or if you have another option, you can also purchase that on the eShop as well. So what I'm going to show you is we're going to install the DLC manually on your Nintendo Switch or for you to play the character in your game. So let's go and let's check it out. Now let's start first with the things needed for installing the DLC. You can download DLC on websites on the internet that offers a DLC download. And sorry guys, I can't give you the links where to download it because YouTube will not allow illegal links in the video. I do hope you understand. So moving on, you will also need a, a Woo app or Gold Leaf, whichever you have there inside your Switch, will be just fine. You will also need a C-port cable to connect the Nintendo Switch directly to the computer. And also in your PC, you will also need to install the NSUSB loader for transferring files for the Nintendo Switch. So let's try opening the Woo app inside your Nintendo Switch. And inside the Woo app, look for the connect to USB and an icon like this will pop out. So let's put that on standby for now and let's go to my computer. So in my computer, you will open the NSUSB loader and when it's open, go to its lower left and click the files that we are going to install. So here's the DLC files that we are going to install, the Dragon Ball Fighter C. So click that and it will be displayed on the screen of the NSUSB. Now, Go to the lower right and go to connect to NS. Now the files are going from your computer going to your Nintendo Switch. So let's look at the Nintendo Switch and there will be a message that will pop out the Awu app. So just click that and it will install the DLC. Now, after installing, let's go back to our main home screen and let's open the game Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Now, as you can see on the character selection, you will notice that the character that is darkened is no longer colored black. It's now a playable character in the selection. So let's make a quick test on the character and it's working fine. So I hope it helped and thanks so much for watching. So if you think this video helps you a lot, don't hesitate to press that like button. And of course, if you're just new to the channel, please do subscribe and help me grow our community in this channel, of course. So that's about it for our video for today. Thanks so much, guys. This is InfoBlitz101. Make your own perspective and I'll be seeing you again on the next video vlog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.